Today we're looking at the U-joint steering system on the Baja Bug with a 3 inch body lift. You can see the body lift spacer there. And I'll start by saying I don't believe there's any good solution to this problem. I raised the body up as many do and my rationalization was I wanted clearance between the tires and the fenders. I think it's kind of asinine that these Baja Bug fenders typically don't have adequate clearance, especially at the front, uh, to the tires. So raising the body up three inches provides three inches more clearance at the tires. But then, along with raising the seats and reaching the pedals, there's the issue of how to hook up the steering column. Now a lot of guys will just cut a hole in the body about here, tilt the steering column, the stock steering column a little bit, tilts the wheel a little bit at the dash, and connect directly to the steering box as before. You can see the steering box here, shaft comes out of it there. I didn't want to have a lot of noise and wind blowing through a hole cut in the firewall, so to speak. And I also wanted stock appearance inside the car. So I built this system of U joints and have been improving it over the years. This is about the third or fourth generation I've come up with. The key points are you need to add a bearing to the steering column because otherwise nothing's supporting it. I use this industrial bearing and that's been part of my system from the start. But this much more heavy duty bracket was part of my second generation. The three quarter inch spline shaft inside from Borgeson is welded inside to the stock column. And of course I can't run the stock horn button anymore because I can't run that ground wire through the middle of the steering column anymore. But again back to the key points, the two U joints made this distance as long as possible to minimize the angle on the U joints. Made this distance as short as possible to minimize any bending on the steering box input shaft. This slip joint is simply a piece of Borgeson double D tube with a piece of Borgeson solid double D slipped up inside of it. This way as the suspension flexes up and down or the body flexes up and down the only bending of the input shaft up and down is friction in the slip joint. Where if you had a solid shaft, as I see many guys do, especially on hot rods, there's nothing to accommodate movement between the steering box and the body. But we've incorporated this slip joint. But what still keeps me up at night, because of the three inch offset, we're not only putting a torsion on the shaft as we steer the car, we're also bending it back and forth now. And this lever arm, which I made as short as possible, does not exist in the stock arrangement. And if you look at any OEM steering system with U-joints, they always make this distance very short, often mounting the U-joint right at the steering box. So, I've considered, I've not yet executed, putting a support bearing here, but that would add its own complication in that the alignment between it and the steering box would have to be dead nuts. Otherwise, the bearing would be introducing its own bending of the shaft, which is what we're seeking to avoid. All this being said, I have been driving around for more than 10 years now with this system and 
have not had the uh, shaft going into the steering box uh, snap off yet though that sort of thing likely only happens once if my assistant is still within earshot we'll get the tire moving back and forth and you can see the action of the u-joints I think that'll be just a moment here got the car on uh, floor jack so we can easily move the wheel back and forth so you can see the action of the u-joints there Usually I have the steering damper installed. I took that off uh, for other reasons, but it is important to have that. Some other... I think that's enough, thanks. Other technical considerations here. Here's the stock steering column, an extra one. And this accordion shape is eliminated the slip joint and U joints take the place of that accordion section and in an amazing coincidence this portion here has the same spline as the input shaft on the steering box so salvaging this tube out of an assembly like this is how I make an adapter to clamp onto the stock steering box what I've seen other guys do is take this shaft, this is from a Super Beetle, and it does not have the same spline as the steering box, but apparently clamping down enough on this to squish it, it will create enough friction with the steering shaft on the steering box uh, to make it turn. But I certainly don't recommend that. It would be clever, of course, to have the VW Super Beetle U-jointed shaft on your VW Baja bug. I just never found a practical way to do that. So, a quick recap. System of U-joints to accommodate the 3-inch body lift. It's a slip joint to reduce the force that may be applied to the steering box. Still have a concern that we've introduced this cantilever bending from side to side. Important to make this as long as possible to minimize your U-joint angles. And a sturdy mounting to the body with a separate bearing is also required. I'll appreciate any constructive comments or questions. Be sure and watch my other videos. Thank you.